English rouse. Duchess of Cambridge is stylish in a favorite pink Alexander McQueen coat dress and matching hat as she joins Prince William and the Queen at a Buckingham Palace garden party. The Queen was joined by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge at her first garden party of the season today, sporting her stylish tinted glasses due to the glorious spring weather. Dressed in a powder blue Stuart Parvin coat with a floral silk dress in shades of pink, powder blue and taupe, and a beautiful hat by Rachel Trevor Morgan. The 93-year-old monarch looked in sparkling form as she laughed and chatted with her guests. Meanwhile Kate, 37, looked elegant in a favorite pink coat dress by Alexander McQueen, which she paired with a matching Juliet Botterell hat and delicate pearl earrings that once belonged to Princess Diana. The royal finished the look with classic nude suede pumps by Gianne Vito Rossi and a clutch by Lo Fleur Randall. The annual Buckingham Palace Garden Parties started in the 1860s by Queen Victoria, are a way of recognizing and rewarding public service and see people from all walks of life enjoy high tea on the lawn to the sounds of a military band. Typically prepared, the Queen was ready for all weather eventualities and arrived wearing sunglasses with an umbrella in hand. The monarch was clearly delighted by the sunshine, telling Victoria English, 50, a teacher from Newport. Well you do rather hope the sun shines as when you invite 8,000 people to have tea on your lawn it can be a bit of a worry. She chatted with Victoria's friend, Indian classical dance teacher Breetha Girish, 48, from Cardiff, about Indian dance, she was telling me how much she admired it, how graceful it was and how she loved the colors and the hand movements. She also spoke to artist Yinka Shonaber, who recently received a CBE from her grandson, Prince William for services to art. We chatted about the Royal Academy and my Trafalgar Square installation, The Ship in the Bottle. I told her the victory was now at the British Maritime Museum and she said that was the best place for it, he said. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge meanwhile chatted animatedly with Jonathan Jenkins and Lindsay Dixon from London's Air Ambulance. In keeping with the dress code, the Duke of Cambridge, 36, was in morning dress and carried his top hat. Ms. Dixon congratulated Kate on her Chelsea Flower Show garden, but the Duchess replied, Oh no! It was a real family affair. I couldn't have done it without William and the children. We were all very involved. William also chatted about his recent mental health initiatives to London's Air Ambulance CEO Mr. Jenkins, including his recent BBC television discussion on men's mental health. Also present today were the Duke of York, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, the Duke of Kent and Princess Alexandra. The garden party is the second one this summer, with two more scheduled for June and July, one of which will be held at Holyrood Palace. Every year, the Queen invites 30,000 people to attend the parties and last year 8,000 guests attended the first soiree of the season, held at Buckingham Palace earlier this month. For the occasion men are asked to wear morning dress or lounge suits while women are invited to wear a day dress, usually with hats or fascinators. The garden parties serve are an important way for the royals to speak to a broad range of people from all walks of life, all of whom have made a positive impact in their community. At each garden party, around 27,000 cups of tea, 20,000 sandwiches and 20,000 slices of cake are consumed. 